Today, I'm testing the best deep research tools for academia and research, and the results may surprise you. You see, there's loads of these new deep research tools, but can you actually use them for research? These are the things I'm testing for. So here I've got whether or not they can actually get information from the past two years, make sure that they've actually give you loads of references, a useful and clear explanation of the stuff that they presented, whether or not they provide you with multimedia such as figures, tables and graphs, is it exportable, like can you actually do something with the information after it's giving you its deep research results. These are the most important things for academia and research and these are all of the tools that I'm testing so let's see which one wins. I provided each tool with the exact same prompt and this is what it was, provide a summary of the current state of research on the use of nanostructured electrodes in organic solar cells, including key materials, challenges, scalability, and recent breakthroughs from the past two years. That is an important prompt. Include references or links to peer-reviewed studies where possible. And as you can see, ChatGPT did its normal thing by asking me what it actually wanted me to do. I provided my responses. And after 45 sources in 12 minutes, this is what it came up with. Now, here we can see we've got lots of really important information. We've got actual figures from real papers that it's found. It's also got tables down here, so it's gonna win on the multimedia front um, at the moment. But here you can see that it's also got performance improvements um, and we need to know whether or not it's actually sort of like given us the most important stuff in the past few years. So here it is. This was the bit I was looking for. Recent breakthroughs and high impact development. So as you can see, it's got a load of important information and here are all the sources down here. But it looks like it's only got 10, even though it told me that at the top it had 45 references. So I don't know which one to believe, but if we go to our tablet view, this is what we've got. So past two years, yes, lots of references, mm, kind of, 45 it used, but it only showed me like eight, I think, so we're going to give it a half here, um, and then useful and clear, yeah, all of that information was useful, I can see how we can use it, um, multimedia, yes, is it exportable, not in a sort of like academic friendly way, so that's going to be a no, so that's going to give me a total score of three and a half, so I'm going to head over to here, and we've got a nice little sort of like tally, and three and a half, let's put it, scale it up, let's round it up, why not, I'm feeling generous, in to number four, so now let's check out the next one, which is SciSpace. If you like that tool, now you should check out this one. The next tool I'm testing is SciSpace. SciSpace is specifically for academia and research, and I'm using their deep review. This is what I chose up here. It got exactly the same prompt, and you can see that all of the research steps that it did down here to find all of the relevant papers. Now, SciSpace is a little bit different because it kind of gives me this, the answers from the top 20 papers, and if you pay more, um, you actually get sort of like more responses. So here I've got top 20, and it's giving me a very small but uh, very powerful, I think, review of the top 20 papers. So here we have the current state of research, and then we've got introduction, key materials, and then it gives me the key materials. And uh, the thing about this is it's not really sort of useful in the sense that it gives me loads of text. It gives me lots of references, but not lots of text. So down here, you can see it's giving me a nice little table with everything in there, so I like that. That's a little multimedia check for it. But um, ultimately, the past two years, yeah, it's given me lots of information, and these are all the papers it found down here. Um, yeah, 2025, 2024, 2023, 2024. So it's really done well, and really sort of like understood that I wanted the past two years, which I really like. Um, and then we've got lots of relevant information. I would say probably like not information here, which is a little bit annoying. Um, you know, not annoying, but it's it's not its strong point, I don't think, having lots of information. It just sort of like, you know, does a paragraph gives you a reference? Does a paragraph give you a reference? It's not like the other ones where there's lots and lots of information and written text, um, and you can't export this in any useful format, as far as I can tell at the moment. So down here, you can actually export all of these references into, you know, whatever you're using, BibTeX, XML, RI, file if you're using any other sort of like reference manager. Um, so overall, uh, let's have, let's go to our 
tablet view and let's have a look lots of useful references i'd say yes if you want just references this found 200 and something and it will give it to you in an exported list so i like that and then useful and clear not as useful and clear as others exportable mm, the text isn't but the um references are and so that gives us a total of three so the size space isn't quite doing as well as chat gpt on the amount of information but for a purely academic sense and getting those references is it's a better tool but overall as a deep research tool uh it's not stacking up to chat gpt at the moment okay let's check out the next one stay around to the end because there's a surprising winner at the end of this video the next one is perplexity you can see where we're going with this now so here is exactly the same prompt and this is all that it gave me it gave me 49 sources as you can see here but let's just check this out because it's not quite 49 sources you'll see what i mean in a minute um but ultimately this is all the information it's completely referenced you can click here and go out to the source so i really like that so in terms of deep research it did well 49 sources you know uh, that's okay but here's the thing if you scroll down all the way to the bottom and go to this export you can export it as a PDF, but it only gives you nine references. I don't really understand why there's a disconnect between the 49 and the nine. Maybe only nine were suit suitable for this deep research, but ultimately, you know, it's a lot of text, but I really wish it would be really deeply sort of like cited like uh, ChatGPT. And like you'll see the upcoming ones in a minute, there's one that does incredibly well with citations, which is, yeah, it was surprised me even. So is the information relevant? absolutely is it a good overview yeah i think it's done well it stayed on track because with perplexed you can say only select um, information from academic peer-reviewed sources so if we go over to our tablet view Perplexity, yeah, the past two years, it really did give me something. Lots of relevant information. Well, I'm not quite sure, to be honest, if the nine or 49 references were the lots of information. So I'm not sure if that's actually useful. Useful and clear. I'm going to give it a half because it really sort of like just didn't give me as much information as other tools can. Um, and it, it's not super clear, you know, the, the way it structured it. And there's no kind of like, you know, recent breakthroughs. Um, um, it's not really as, as good as the other one. So I'm going to give it a half there. Multimedia, there was no multimedia in this one, unlike SciSpace and ChatGPT with their tables and their graphs. Um, and is it exportable? Sci, uh, perplexity is exportable as a PDF document as other things. So you can go on and use it for other things in your academic workflow. But ultimately, that leaves us with one, two and a half. Oh, that sounds bad, doesn't it? But Two and a half perplexity for academia and research. That's where it's at. We'll put it in three because I'm feeling generous. There it is. The next one is Gemini. And this one I was actually very, very impressed with. Let's check it out. So once again, I gave it exactly the same prompt. And this is what it gave me. Now, the thing about Gemini is that it gives lots of information and sources used in this project. All of these down here, are, you know, all the sources that it found. And you can see it's loads and loads and loads and loads. If you export it to docs, this is what it looks like. And I was actually more impressed with it in its docs view than I was as it's kind of like um, online user interface view. And you'll see what I mean in a minute because you get this report and it is deep. It is the definition of deep research as far as I could tell because you can see this has got 73. This is reference 73. It's got reference one, reference one um, and four. And you know, it just keeps on going, keeps on going. There's 28 pages with all of the references, um, which means that all the way down here, we have got 253 references. Now, if that isn't useful, I don't know what is. So you can export these to a, a you know, a, a, a BibTeX or an RIS file at the moment. That's not too bad. Um, but ultimately, this is what we're interested in here. We've got all of the information. It's really highly referenced. You can see that almost each sentence is referenced, which I really, really like. So if we head over to our tablet view, let's have a look. Past two years, yes, I checked a number of the different references and it really did provide me with recent results lots of references yes if i could give it two ticks there this would be the winner if you just want loads and loads of references in a really highly oh, i had to swallow referenced uh like report um useful and clear i really like it yes multimedia non none that i saw and is it exportable yes as you can see we got it out to docs so this one is one two three 
I'm going to give it four actually, because I'm going to give it two for that uh, lots of references because that's super useful. And it, yeah, lots and lots of references. Love that. Which means that Gemini at the moment, if we go to our uh leaderboard is up here with chat gpt chat gpt not as many references but if you uh really want that sort of like lots of detailed information chat gpt really did well chat gpt and gemini are kind of equal footing at the moment for different reasons yeah Stay around because this next tool is really interesting. The next one is Manus AI. Manus AI is a brand new research agent that I've got early access to. I did a review on it earlier. Go check out the video here. But ultimately, this one is all about deep research. You can go away for like 30 minutes and do the research. But I put exactly the same prompt into it. And this is what I got out of it. So it did all of this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then down here, you can see it give me a number of files. It knew what it had to do. It gave me the current state of the research. So there it is there. We've also got references, recent breakthroughs. So we can click there and have a look at recent breakthroughs, which I really like, you know, the fact that it separates it out from other tasks. Then we've got scalability challenges. It actually knows sort of like to do this separately and then combine Bind it later. So these are all the separate files. And then we've got key materials as well, which is really great. So the one thing I like about this is you've got multiple files with the information kind of segmented out, but we're interested in this, the nano structured final result. And uh, yeah, this is great. I mean, there's lots and lots of information. It does really sort of like go on to that, like, um, really uh, AI kind of output where it's like, paragraph reference, paragraph reference. But you can see here that, yeah, it's lots and lots of information. The one thing I don't like about this though, is that it's not referenced here. It's referenced all the way down the bottom where you can see, um, you know, it says there is a reference, but that number one isn't actually referenced anywhere in the text as far as I can tell. But nonetheless, you can download it as a file, as a PDF. And here we can see we've got introduction, then we've got recent breakthroughs, which we can't click on for some reason, um, key materials, so some of the links are broken, but that's not too bad. But yeah, here's all the information. And it's a little bit annoying that it's not referenced uh, exactly where you want it. You know, like it says here in text reference uh, Yang et al. But I would like a little number there and a little link to take me to where that is referenced, actually. Um, nonetheless, this is all of the information. If you go down here, it's only got 11 um, references in this report, which is a bit of a shame because if we go back here, we can see, uh, let's go to references. We've actually got quite a few more than 11. So I don't know why there's only 11 in that in the report. But here you can see if you look at just the references file, it gives you much more. So let's go to our tablet view and have a little bit of a look. Manus, yes, the last two years it actually gave us a separate file for that. I like that. Then we've got lots of references. Um, yeah, uh, enough references. Um, and then we've got clear and useful. Hmm, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then we've got multimedia. No, and you can export it. So this is another four which means that if we go over to our leaderboard, we've got this, which is up here as a four. This one and Gemini are the only genuine fours. Remember, ChatGPT was 3.5, so it kind of sits in the middle. So at the moment, Gemini and Manus are actually sort of like doing the best of all of these. And there's one last one, Storm. Storm has been made by Stanford. Let's check it out. So here we have the same prompt and the output. You can see that it gives you a nice load of information, completely referenced. Once again, we've got paragraph, reference, paragraph, reference, sentence reference. So it's not as detailed in its referencing as something like Gemini, but you do have a lot of references. Um, if we scroll down to the bottom, the thing is that I don't like about this is you can't see where the references are. There's no like external references. I don't know where they are. You have to click or hover over each one individually or click or click over each one individually to actually see what it says and then click out. It doesn't give me the, the time. So this tool at the moment is not the most useful in an academic sense because it gives you the information, but it doesn't sort of present it very well. Nonetheless, if this is, you know, completely free, which I absolutely love, you can go here and just sort of like see what a research field has to offer for, um, for you. But uh, Overall, it's a good enough uh, start for free, but it doesn't live up to the expectations that have been set by the other tools. So Storm, is it the past two years? I have no idea if the references are the 
from the past two years. I have to click on each one individually. I don't like that. Then we've got lots of info. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's lots of info. Um, useful and clear, not really, it's not really as useful and clear as the other ones. Current state of the research, but does that mean like the last two years? Um, so it's, you know, it takes a little bit more understanding and nuance uh, to really get through this. The other one's just like, this is the research you asked for, whereas this is like, oh, I don't know, is it is it recent? Is it within the last two years? I don't know. And then what have we got? Multimedia, no. And then exportable, no. So this one is only one and a half. So Storm, you are the loser today, unfortunately. So if we go back here and have a look at our thing, we'll go here, or I'll put it in two because I'm feeling generous again today. So there we are, there's your leaderboard. Essentially, Gemini and Manus do really great. Gemini at the moment, if you want highly referenced exportable information, then I think Gemini is the best thing to do at the moment. Manus, if you want lots of sort of like detailed different files, and then these ones are also perfectly okay. I would use SciSpace if I really wanted loads of exportable uh, references to go and take into like my reference manager. But ultimately with those top three, that is Gemini, Manus, and SciSpace, you really can't go wrong with your deep research for academia and research. Which ones have you tried? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about all of the ways you can use deep research for academia. You'll love it.